Hey, this is Biz Talk with Mike. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button if you think this video brought you any type of value whatsoever. So many younger people and uh, you know people around me have been asking, Mike, how do I get started in business? What do I need to do and uh, things of this nature? And there's a few different answers to that. And I'm gonna explain a couple things. So one, you wanna get some education. Uh, you wanna read some books. You wanna look at your chosen vocation and get some base knowledge. And what I mean by base knowledge, let's just take real estate for example, because that's our main business over here as to what I do. When I first got into real estate, I, at least while well, I got my real estate license, number one, uh, number two, I write a lot of books. I write into things, how to do things. Then I started with the real estate license, getting some hands-on experience in the field of real estate. So I dabbled in transactions for other people, listing houses and buying and selling uh, for others. And so that gave me a little bit of an experience. So over the years of doing that, uh, the second step is you got to develop some type of core business. You want to focus on one thing to start out with. For me, it was a real estate brokerage firm that I still own today, and we're pretty successful and we're growing. But uh, you wanna start out with something like that, and I continue to run this real estate business till this day, and what happened was uh, that core business uh, developed my relationships with uh, bankers and with different people out there. Um, so the core business gets you experience in your field, but, the important thing is to develop contacts in to develop business capital. Really, business capital is the biggest thing. There's a couple ways of getting capital. One is their traditional method of a family member gives you, you know, some money to invest with, or they believe in you and they say, "Hey, here's an X amount of dollars. Here's a, you know, fifty thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and, and you know, I believe in you and start a business." That's one way. The other way is self-made like myself. Self-made is totally different. Self-made, you don't have anybody helping you out. So you have to raise money or you have to earn money from a job and save it up. But somehow you have to develop capital. The other way, the fast track to developing capital is through business lines of credit. And that's a whole other video, but getting a business line of credit will definitely help you out. But in order to get a business line of credit, you need to uh, have a core business and establish those relationships, uh, you know, with banks, as I mentioned. And so once you get some type of working capital, uh, that's where at the point where now you can be in business. So A, if you have a job, you're going to have to consider quitting your job and taking the risk and plunging in by yourself into your chosen vocation. So some people also work a full-time job and they do their business until it grows enough where they feel like they wanna take the risk and leave. So that's a personal choice. But let's just say that you have a business uh, that's actually uh, paying the bills somewhat. You're, you're a real estate agent. Um, you decide to open up a brokerage, for example. And this was my path. Opening up a real estate brokerage firm helped me establish my core business, which in enabled me to develop relationships with banking and different things. And from there, I grew business capital. And then from there, I had uh, decided to speak with investors and, and grow uh, into some other arms of the business, such as with uh, new urban development, as you see in some of the other videos, new urban development, uh, invest in real estate. So from there on, uh, for many years, uh, we I've been growing and that's how it works. So you have to make the right contacts, number one. Um, you have to get some education. You have to take the risk, okay, of, of going into your vocation. And number th number three, you have to get business capital. And in order to develop business capital, like I had mentioned, you need to uh, have a core business that you're working on that generates real revenue. It's got to be a real business, in my opinion. And when I say real business, I'm talking about you have a regular commercial address, you have a phone number, you have a website, you have an email address. All the above, you have to be a legitimate business person, legitimate business for a banker to take you seriously. And it's really hard to get respect out there in the field. But um, again, just keep up with it, don't give up. And I hope this video helped a little bit and I'll be coming up with more videos for tips and motivation in the future. So thank you and uh, take care.